this video is a really hard one to make. It's a really, really hard video to make. First off, I want to apologize to everyone. You guys have been so amazing and so supportive and wonderful. I, I just have to, <clears throat> I have to thank you all and apologize from the bottom of my heart. I, and here, here's the thing. I've dealt with trolls, bullying, all this stuff my whole life with bullying, name calling. This is why, this is, this is why I have kind of a chip on my shoulder. This is why I have a bad attitude. This is why I'm abrasive and, but this, this, this would, this is just the worst. This is the worst of the worst, right? I, I have never in all my life dealt with trolling and bullying not 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 even not, not oh god not even as bad as being treated like a battered wife by by the guy from Axanar on his video or by being insulted by the son of Captain Pike the original Captain Pike on Star Trek and threatened threatened that he was going to knock out my teeth and my viewers teeth <sighs> this one <laughs> don't know what kind of person says these things to a woman. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what kind of person says these things to another human being, let alone a woman, <sighs> over a movie, over a movie, over their opinion of a movie. Now, I didn't have any interaction with this I didn't have any interaction with this guy before I've never heard of this person I don't know who he is or or what he has against me but I saw I saw this this morning this this it was in my DMs and I, I have blocked out their identity to protect who they are because because it's just the word it is Not only are they bullying now in the comments, they're they're taking it to my own Twitter feed and say <sighs> like I, I I don't I do, I I just don't have words for it. I really really don't have words for it. I have been misgendered <laughs> in this day and age. Where gender is everything to these people. To the level of insults to misgender somebody. <sighs> and it is so horrible to call me the names they call me. <laughs> I've done nothing to you. I don't know you. I've never talked to you in my life. <laughs> the fact that he misgendered me and called me dummy dumb. What will I ever do? Other than make a video <laughs> laughing about- I can't- I can't fake cry for that long. I'm sorry. I'm not that good. I mean, I, I certainly didn't threaten anybody with a Me Too for an Oscar or anything, but I'm not that good of an actor. <gasps> Hello everyone, I am MegaRandom42, your favorite YouTube Harpy, and sorry for the fake out, but fucking trolls! Oh my god, fucking trolls! So, so of course, we're dealing with another Captain Marvel troll. This is in my DMs this morning, apparently. I, I, I have, I have, uh, fuzzed out his name for, for his own protection, because these people are crazy. So we don't see his name, and, and the icon is a, a poster for Captain Marvel. The box office doesn't lie, Mr. Redhead Dumbass. Mr. Redheaded Dumbass. Okay. Sure. Mr. I'll, I'll remember that. <laughs> I don't care. Like, like, I fucking care. Captain Marvel defeated Wonder Woman. Just accept it and move on, dummy dumb. Oh my god, what are you gonna do? Call me a duty head next? <gasps> nana nana boo boo, stick your head in doo doo. 
Seriously. Grow up. Grow the fuck up, people. So, so of course, I respond, I think you're mistaking me with somebody who has a personal investment in the movie. I don't care. I don't care. I don't have a stake. I'm not a stockholder in Disney or DC or Warner Brothers. I don't care if Captain Marvel def- like made more money than Wonder Woman. What I do care is all these people going out of the woodworks to attack YouTubers over their opinions. You know, when none of us, I don't think a one person ever said this movie would flop. I have not heard a one YouTuber saying this movie would flop. It's a Marvel movie. Of course it's going to do well. We've been saying that forever. Also, sorry, I have, I have like, the, the freaking window open. It's in the middle of a blizzard, but it's, like, 90 degrees in here because of the computer. So hopefully the wind isn't too distracting. Maybe it's atmospheric. You know, maybe it's, like, kind of cool and spooky. We'll leave it. We'll leave the wind. So I said, also, you remind me of an 8-year-old that used to get butt hurt when I wouldn't trade them Pokemon or some dumb shit. And, and I should clarify, I used to be a YouTube Let's Player. I specialized quite a lot in Yokai Watch, which is very similar to Pokemon. And they have, basically, it's a monster collecting game where you go around collecting the, the monster ghosts and stuff. It's kind of cool, actually. Really fun game. I highly recommend it. Except that the crowd is, like, basically 8 to 12 year old kids. So, jo- yeah, don't just play the first game and don't, don't bother <laughs> with the ones where you have to trade. Or, or, you know, the third game, too. is pretty decent. Yeah, and I, I used to deal with little kids all the time. And this is kind of why I changed my content of my channel. To, to be um, more vlog style, you know, stuff I, stuff I knew more about, stuff I really, really um, was passionate about, stuff I cared about, like Hollywood stuff, you know, like stupid movies, right? I actually care about it. I care about, you know, fighting the SJW nonsense and all the idiots in the whole, you know, especially on Twitter, especially on YouTube, especially in the comment section. We, you, we've been dealing with some of them in the comment sections, too. Some of these paid employees from, from Disney. Oh, my God. It's crazy. So, so yeah, I, I did have to... I, I figured out three things that I needed to do to make myself more successful on YouTube. And one of them was make the content I really cared about. I'll, I'll put that in the end of the video. We'll do that in the end of the video. So, I also told this guy, now I don't go down to where you work and slap the dick out of your mouth. So, let me tell you something. You don't have to watch my channel. I know it's hard for an eight-year-old mentality to understand, but you don't have to watch my channel. Clearly, you're threatened and intimidating by strong women. And, of course, I can't type on my tablet, so I had to correct my, my spelling there. It's just, it's just crazy. The, the stuff that these people, the, the lengths that they'll go to, you know? Like, here's the thing. If I were actually somebody who was upset by being misgendered, I could get this guy banned from Twitter for that if I wanted to. I really could. I don't care. I don't care. Right? I am not obsessed with what's in between somebody's legs like these people. <sighs> here's the here's the funny thing though. I think the cat's trying to get in. <laughs> here's the funny thing. Because of all of their their kind of negative comments, because of all the trolling and because of all the shills, it's actually counteracting what what YouTube did to the algorithm when they when they decided to kind of change up how Captain Marvel was or how Brie Larson in particular was searched. So here here I'll pull this up. This is my this is my Social Blade page. Um, here, here, you can see right here the huge dip, because I was at around like 5,000 subs. I, I was doing basically gaming stuff. Huge dip when I privatized all my, my Let's Plays, or most of them. I unlisted them, I think, or I privatized them. I don't know. But yeah, you can, you can see Friday here, you know, like like last week. This is all last week before Captain Marvel. Wednesday, Thursday came around. Friday was pretty good. They changed the algorithm. We had a little bit of a drop going from like 30, 50, 40, 70,000 views Friday down to 27, 28, 30. We're kind of slowly crawling back up. Not doing too bad for, you know, a, a small, a tiny, teeny, tiny little YouTube channel. The you guys, you guys... Thank you so much, by the way. Thanks for sitting through the fake out. I hope I didn't piss anybody off. Don't be too concerned. Don't be too concerned. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving. I'm not quitting YouTube. I just had to, I had to, had to make fun of that comment. It was just so, or that, that message. It was so stupid. (laughs) But yeah, so, so a little, a little bit about me if you guys are, are brand new. Yeah, I, I used to, I used to do gaming. I was doing like Terraria, indie games, Goat Simulator. I was doing visual novels like the Japanese booby sleep with a, sleep with a Japanese girl sort of games where they do show full on hentai and I was censoring them even. And yeah, so, so I had a channel. I, I had, that channel had been deleted from 
not censoring the hentai games well enough probably was part of it. And then, yeah, I, I switched over to this channel, started doing more, more gaming. I played a lot of Kitty Powers Matchmaker, had a few hundred subs from that. When Yokai Watch came out, though, that was something I was, like, really, really into. Got a lot of subscribers for that. You know, I got probably 4,000 for that. Got another 1,000, like, the next year when I was playing Friday the 13th. Yeah, I, I, I was a, a, you know, small little few thousand sub gaming channel. And I realized something. I was not happy being a gaming channel. I, I, I don't, I just don't have... <sighs> I, I don't I don't have editing skills and to be and to be a gaming channel or a let's play channel you either have to play Fortnite and stream it for like 10 hours a day or you have to do fun short edited videos with, with whatever new video game comes out. I don't have editing skills and, and stuff so I, I really I, it's, it's a talent like people like Ivan Ortega great oh my god great editor awesome guy go subscribe to his channel he's fixing the last Jedi. I don't have like I, I don't I don't know what I would cut out so so that's kind of what one of the things about why I changed over because I was just doing live streams for the most part and I, I I figured there's three things I needed to do to be a happy YouTuber one thing was to stop doing the let's plays and stop especially stop doing games and let's plays and stop having something that would target kind of the young young eight year old sort of demographic I don't have patience for that I really really don't I I'm sorry you know and and like I said you know. I, I was I was playing Yokai Watch and stuff, and and basically if I had like ten of a super rare thing to give away electronically to somebody, I would have like twenty kids show up, and half of them would be calling me names because I didn't give them, you know, I didn't give them the thing, you know. Let's let's say I have ten things to give away, sixty people in chat, fifty people are going to be pretty pissed at you because little kids don't really have, um, the the class and the ability. They're kids, right? They they don't, they don't get it. Grown ass adults like this should kind of get some of these things. So, so that was the first thing I did was stop, stop the, stop catering to like the video game, the young demographic, stop catering to that. Second thing I did was start creating content I really, really loved, you know, like the vlogging stuff, t picking apart SJWs, picking apart idiots on Twitter, talking about pop culture. I mean, I really regret that I didn't get in on the Ghostbusters thing. I really regret that I didn't take that opportunity to change my channel then. Or with Gem and the Holograms or any of these other nonsense things. And and it just Star Trek Discovery was the last straw for me. Star Wars The Last Jedi was another like last straw. You know, and it took a lot of convincing. It took, you know, people like Doomcock even, you know, shout out to him. He was been he was a huge supporter early on when I changed my channel over. And, you know, we, we needed to, we need to get his subs up too. The third thing I did when I stopped, when I changed my channel over to be a happier YouTuber is I stopped looking at likes. This is, this is another thing people, um, in the, especially in the Aladdin video, people would just want to taunt you with that, like likes and dislikes. I don't know how many likes or dislikes it has genuinely. I stopped caring when, when little kids would start kind of using that in chat as a, oh, I'm going to dislike the video if you don't give me the thing. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care. And my videos are going to get to the people that need, they need to get to by me working, by me networking, by me making friends with everybody that I can in YouTube and getting to the right community. And I found the right the right viewers. I found the right people. So thank you guys. You guys are so awesome and you guys rock. And I don't want to say like the little kids, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to sound like I'm bashing on little kids. Little kids are little kids. They're going to do what they're going to do. I, I just didn't have, I didn't have what it took. I didn't have what it took to kind of be in that culture. I know nothing else. Like I, I saw this. I'm like, oh, it's a cute cat. It's ghost. It's got like a theremin. It's spooky. I don't know anything else of that sort of, of their, the stuff that they're into. I don't know any, you know, I wasn't playing Pokemon. I wasn't playing any of that stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't know. And that, that's kind of why I switched over. That's part of, uh, that's, that's part of it also, because like I can talk to you guys about Star Trek and Star Wars and the, the superhero movies and the eighties stuff. This is why I'm like that. I found the right audience. I found the right viewers. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I hope I didn't piss off too many people with this video, but 
Thank you so much. And I know, and I don't want to like detract on anybody. I, I love every single person who's hit that subscribe button, whether they subscribed, you know, years ago and haven't come back to the channel since, because I did change the content. That's fine. That's perfectly okay. And, and I don't watch every video that everybody makes. That's perfectly fine too. These trolls just act like they, 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 they act like I care. They act like... They act like I'm this, this like little immature YouTuber who cares about likes and dislikes, who cares about what people think of them. I really don't. I really, really don't. You know, if they want to lie and say that, you know, I said Captain Marvel was going to flop, find a clip. Seriously. I, I, I dare them to. If they want to say I slap myself silly, find a clip. I dare them to. They're not going to. They're, they're just not going to, you know, because that's another one. One of the trolls keep, keeps commenting. That's a loud motorcycle. <laughs> so he keeps commenting that, oh no, I'm just here because she slapped herself silly. <claps> Clapping is not slapping myself silly. You know, maybe maybe walk right in between my hands next time you say that to me. Huh? <sighs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. I sorry about the fake out. This was a fun one to make. <laughs> it took a few takes. I'm not that good of an actress, but you know, I guess I didn't meet you somebody for an Oscar. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video or live stream. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.